Just the Viking here. Welcome to another video. This time we're going to talk about Soul Dossier. Hope I'm saying that right. Uh, so this is uh, another asymmetrical horror game that came out a couple of days ago on Steam. I'm sure it's probably been out a little bit longer previous to Steam. Uh, this is a Chinese, like full-on Chinese. You can see most of it's not even translated uh, properly yet, but I'm sure that's coming. The game is definitely in early access, and you can tell most of the game is definitely unfinished. Uh, but what is here is enough um, to get a picture of what the game is and, and where they're going with it. And they have a pretty robust load, uh, roadmap that that uh, lists everything they want to do with the game. So where do we start? What is this game? So it uh, it is an asymmetrical horror, like Dead by Daylight, the inevitable comparison, uh, except that it is 5 verse uh, 1. Now, of course, usually that's probably kind of a bad thing because that means that you really need to load the majority of your players into playing the Survivor. But, of course, uh, they do a lot to make the characters all extremely appealing. They're all individual classes. This is a, a healer. Uh, Queen is kind of a runner, so to speak, and then you have a crowd controller, a tank, a scout, and then a sort of leader figure that can kind of go head-to-head -head in short bursts uh, with the enemy monsters. You have a, a teleporter, a crowd controller, you have uh, Zingche, which is probably one of the more iconic hop, you know, the hopping zombie vampire creature and you have doppelganger which i know a lot of you'll be excited to find out that they can actually turn into the survivors and try and blend in with them which is uh yeah randomly disguise himself as an agent alive so some pretty cool and interesting mechanics um very very different fiends this one can summon you know little miniature versions of itself uh this specter floats around and can teleport very mobile uh, just really, really interesting kits that have a lot of mechanics rather than just like a single mechanic tap, tacked onto like a base sort of run around kit. Um, same thing, you know, the survivors have a lot of actual mechanics that are, are pretty fun and pretty interesting. And of course, visually, as you can tell, the game is pretty solid. Uh, but so, how about the gameplay? Is the gameplay pretty fun? Well, the gameplay is, to put it lightly, super confusing. It does have a tutorial, but even after the tutorial, which probably isn't as good for English speakers, but, you know, that's the nature of the beast. Uh, a lot of cultures that don't speak English will have, you know, have to put up with not being able to understand, uh, you know, the game as well. But they manage, so we can manage to, right? It's not that big of a deal. That said, I have had to play the game quite a bit uh, and fumble through a lot of trial and error to really just get basic gameplay figured out. Uh, the premise is very similar to Dead by Daylight. You've got shrines that you have to repair. Uh, very similar to generators uh, on a map, and once you get them all repaired, you win, um, and the Fiend is just trying to kill everybody. However, the similarities diverge pretty quickly. Uh, one of the things that I really like is you don't spend very long on the repair cycle. Instead, you have to go find pieces for the shrine scattered around the map and then bring them back to the correct shrine. If you wanted to equate this to Dead by Daylight mechanics, it would be the much, much requested for years and years and years of not having to sit at a generator, but instead go scout for parts to bring back to the generator and then you spend a little bit of time on the generator. That's more what this is like. You have to spend most of your time moving around and exploring the map and evading the killer, which does have a terror radius, so you tend to know when they're coming. But good lord, they also have a lot of mechanics. They are really hard to get away from. Uh, but I am absolutely certain I am playing extremely poorly, so... <laughs> Again, there seems to be a lot of moving parts and a lot of things going on in this game, which makes it very interesting. Uh, now, the more I play it, you know, who knows? We might find out that maybe there's not too much to the game, but it is absolutely free to play. We're going to come back to that in a little bit. Um, so, it's worth checking out, and so far it's pretty cool, and I'm having fun with it. Uh, but back to, uh, back to the map movements and the gameplay. 
So you do spend a lot of time scouting and moving around the map, which is great. The map is fairly large. So far, it appears that there are at least two maps. I've played on what looks like to be a, an abandoned, decrepit high school and uh, some sort of, like, downtown residential area with a bunch of alleys. Uh, and, yeah, you just move, run around and scout for the... Uh, this stuff and take it back to the shrine. Now, that's where the confusion kicks in, though, because finding the shrines is extremely difficult. Uh, now, everything's elemental-based, and the lore for the game uh, revolves around Taoism, and it takes place in modern times, but the lore paints a story about uh, safeguarding seals that have existed for thousands of years, and uh, you know, now in modern times, they're starting to break down, so it's a battle to, you know, restore these elemental seals. And the elemental seals, of course, are the, the generators, essentially. And, of course, the roadmap. Um, you know, here's all the new character classes that are coming, new fiends, uh, functions, and some of their seasonal rankings, guilds, uh, you know, uh a house system for your main screen so you actually like decorate a house character creation stuff um observe uh yeah observation modes i said that weird uh you know recording so you can rewatch your own matches like they really want this to be like a high-end game new modes new maps new items and then you know the last thing is improvements and bug fixes which um is nice but you know i've talked enough about gameplay and all this stuff why don't we go ahead and hop into a round and you can kind of see how this works i'm gonna select uh quinn here who's our runner now as you can see you can have duplicate characters so it's completely fine we'll hit confirm and uh we equip our items now interestingly enough it looks like i have Eight of these in my inventory. You can't see because I'm in the way. Hold on. Let me fix this really quick. Uh, awkward. Okay. So as you can see, it looks like we have eight of these in the inventory. I keep using this and it's not using them up. I think maybe that's a hotkey or more, more likely an infinity symbol. So take this item and I don't... Oh, it's an invisibility charm. Uh, that is definitely a one. I'm not going to take it. Yeah, take that. Take that thing. You need that compass. I swear to God. The compass is what makes everything work. It's what makes everything work. Alright, so there's the flashlight. Seemingly, no purpose. The uh, paper cranes here are essentially just potential loot. Inventory is full. Okay. So press number two to select one of the cranes, unwrap it, and the five spirit coins. This is just kind of like in-game currency that you're picking up off the floor. Looks like I'm just getting more in-game currency out of the paper cranes. And not much at that. So let's begin looking for uh, what we're going to be looking for are these little blue shimmery smoke clouds. They're very faint and hard to see. That seems bad. Or is that a friendly player effect? That might be a friendly player effect. The piano plays itself just to be spooky. Tab is your map. Absolutely crucial. Ah, here we found a water shrine. So if we find some water, we'll come... Uh-oh. There was a heartbeat. If we find water, we're going to make note it's in the classroom and we are downstairs or upstairs. I'm not 100% sure yet. What is this? Is there... Are they being chased? That was... Oh! oh! Yes! <laughs> Dude, I love the visuals. I love the visuals. Let's go help out. 
Like I said, right off the bat, they can't really... Oh, no! Oh, no, I've got a baby on me! I don't know how to get rid of it. I don't know how to get rid of this weird baby, dude. Fuck it. No, oh, God, it knows I'm here, don't I? Don't it. Does this charm do it? Nope, sure doesn't. Okay, 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 okay. Now I'm like infected with its weirdo juice. Uh, all I know is when this happens, she dies slowly over time. Fucking weirdo, dude. Oh god. I gotta run, I gotta run. Whoop. Oh, fuck off. Oh, come on, bro! My latency is probably insane. So I used my ult so that I could clip through that door, but it didn't really, didn't really work. Or the shelf or whatever, so I didn't have to crouch under it, but I was just too slow. Whew. Nice. Oh god, can I get a heal? I think you heal? Yes, there we go. Now, as you can see, there's a critical... Oh, is that the, like one of the little babies? Also, the game has some jump scare attacks that are just insane. Alright, this is a bad place to be. We're gonna go ahead and get out of here. So if I take one hit, I'm gonna get smacked down. And the healer maybe didn't have any resources to heal. Okay, so there's a wood shrine, but I haven't found... Flying. Could it not see me? Alright, somebody's been revived. That was bizarre. Three a speed charm? Bro, this seems good. I haven't found... Now, this is unlucky. I haven't found a single... Um... And there does not appear to be fall damage, by the way. I haven't found a single, like, element. And what is this weird, boingy music? This is new. I'll help you, I'll help you, I'll help you. I think they were asking for help. They said they cannot be healed. So yeah, uh, cannot restore something, cannot revive 20 seconds of knockdown, slightly reduced movement speed. Okay, so there's the fire shrine, but I am... I'm gonna keep the speed charm... There's one, there's one that... The blue mist. There we go. About time. Oh god, scare me much? Alright, so it looks like we found metal. Alright, we're gonna equip this. This is that compass thing I was telling you about. Now we can press X. And see, we've got earth and wood and water. I 
I don't know how else to heal. I don't know if any of these cranes will ever give anything. Also, I wonder if the flashlight will help see those... Uh... Oh, is this metal? Alright, let me try this. Does it show me that's wood? Okay, does it just show you the three closest? Maybe that's what's going on? Oh, instant noodles? This is... Well, there's my question uh, about how to heal. It is the paper cranes. You have to find yourself some instant noodles. God, I love that you heal with instant noodles. That's everything I wanted right there. Let's collect some more paper cranes. We'll get the dude. I've got teammates that are just really in trouble right now. Oh, uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Well, I'm in a really bad fucking spot. Is this a Mori? Oh, he's getting Moried. So we're gonna we're gonna get the fuck out, bro. Yeah, he's dead, dead now. He's dead. There's no. Oh God! Why I'm dead? Am I invisible? Does this make me invisible? How did I get away? I need to. Oh! Oh, that's bad. That's bad. I did absolutely nothing the whole game. <laughs> that was maybe like my worst round. Like, I understand the game the, the best now, and that was the worst round. Oh god, this screen makes the webcam all janky. Let's get off this screen. Uh, but again, you know, play it, see what you think for yourself. But anyway, that's it for me. We'll catch you in the next video. See you later.